Maniac uh, McGee. Um, I, I, had, I, I wrote 80 pages, threw it away. I wrote 100 pages, threw it away. Uh, I was trying to have Maniac be a hero type kid who was a, who was a hero to everybody. He was everybody's answer, and it just was too scattered, too unfocused, it wasn't working. So I, I think at that point I decided to kind of zero in in a more concentrated way on the black-white business. I see. Uh, and, uh, and, and, I, and I was still having problems, and I remember uh, I, turned, I decided what I, what I need here after all these false starts is a break. And so I decided not to think about it for a few days. And an interesting thing happened. As soon as I turned my back on it and stopped thinking about it, I had uh, the only documented visitation I've ever had from the news. Wow. That part that you read, they say, mm -hmm. uh, Maniac that was born in a dump, uh, that came to me one night in Phoenixville. Uh, and I just wrote it down and went and showed it to Eileen who had seen the other failures. And she said, my God, this is it. How wonderful. And, and I went ahead and wrote the book. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was, uh, that, was that one. Uh, Milkweed, uh, as I've said, uh, uh, really it was just a matter of, of a, obeying my own advice to write what I cared about. Um, I had recently met a Holocaust survivor uh, whose first memory uh, is of uh, finding himself probably at about the age of three or four or five. He recalls somewhere around Warsaw probably. He recalls himself crouching by a, by a, a, a rumble, ru rumble ruin of a stone wall, just crouching there all by himself. Mm -hmm. That's all he remembers. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I realized that that to write this, this, this book with, with any sense of, uh, of, uh, of fulfillment, personal fulfillment at all, I had to try to do something uh, that hadn't been done a million times before. And it came down for me to a point of view. Uh, and uh, since I had a few so-called kids' books uh, under my belt, uh, I, I thought, well, let's take it all the way back. And I, what I'd like to do is, is to go back to the essentials as much as possible and, and be as simple as possible. That's why I often go back and start with running. Mm -hmm. And in this case, what I went back and started with was, was a, a clean slate. Uh, the blank uh, blackboard that, that is a kid's experience. Uh, let's take a kid who we will just presume has been orphaned, abandoned, and almost, almost literally finds himself born uh, at the age of seven or eight or whatever he is at the, in the beginning, finds himself almost literally born in the middle of this situation. 